Hello and welcome to Partnership Leaders Tools of the Trade, a video series for partner people by partner people where we highlight some of the best and brightest technologies serving people just like you, partner professionals of every stripe. I'm your host, Tom Williams. I'm the Managing Director here at Edge Consulting. And let me just ask you this question. Have you ever found yourself burning the midnight oil, importing data extracts, creating pivot tables, deduping rows and columns, only to realize that there's an app for that? That was me two and a half years ago before I came across a company called Crossbeam, and it really changed the way that I approach that aspect of my job. The origin of this series was really born out of two factors. We all face the need to produce quantifiable results through partnerships today, this month, this quarter, this year. The second is that we need to optimize the way in which we work by using tools that are readily available to integrate, automate, and codify workflows in our partner work streams. So what's interesting is that we as partner professionals still by and large lack a bespoke system of record. Imagine a salesperson without CRM, a finance person without ERP, or a marketing person without marketing automation. The idea is not complicated. If we put sharp tools in the hands of sharp minds, we can better track partner performance, make faster decisions, and ultimately be more productive achieving our corporate goals. We can then answer the question that we all inevitably get, which is why do we have partners in the first place? But we can do so now with specificity and the credibility that only comes with data. In this series, we really hope to achieve three things. First is make you aware of the tools and technologies that are reshaping the way that partner function operates today. Two, remove some of the blind spots as to what's available within the market. And three, create a broader conversation around partner-centric tools and technologies. So with that, let's get started. Hi there, I'm Rob, co-founder and CEO of Superglue. We're a partner engagement platform and we address three major challenges. Uh, when it comes to overloaded partnership teams, we give them a tool to drive productivity, to achieve more with less. We enable them to focus on the important stuff. Um, we help drive revenue from the long tail of your ecosystem, the people that uh, are unengaged, that are passive. And since we're aware of the fact that partnership teams normally don't get the ref up support they need or the additional headcount that would be necessary, this is the type of tool that, that you can get up and running in no time. It's really straightforward. We get you to, uh, to generate an impact very fast. And uh, what we do in detail is we help you automate stuff. Um, this is what Jay McBain called the number one growth opportunity in our industry. Uh, well, specifically, what we help you automate are the recurring interactions along the partner lifecycle. So when it comes to onboarding a new, uh, a new AE that just joined a partner organization, enabling somebody in, in a partner organization, checking in, uh, co-selling using account mapping data to, to create these co-selling workflows. Uh, we help you drive portal adoption. If you have a PRM and struggle with um, you know, adoption rates, uh, we help you nurture contacts, drive in expansion in your partner organizations, um, and even stuff like drive partner happiness, recognition, all kinds of really cool use cases that we help you hyper-personalize. And that's really important. Like Rather than uh, this feeling very generic, it's going to feel like it's coming from a person. It's going to feel very, very uh, relevant for the people receiving this, uh, because otherwise you're not going to get them to feel valued, uh, appreciated. You, you don't manage to build trust, get, get your partners excited and ultimately drive revenue. The way we do this is uh, we take manual processes and rather than just fully automate them, we've uh, found a way how to, how to maintain the human touch. I'm going to show you in a minute how that works. So let's dive into the tool. Uh, what you see here is the uh, the overview. We see the different automations that are running. You see certain performance data. And um, by the way, connecting Superglue to your CRM, your account mapping tools, PRM, etc. It's, it's super straightforward. It literally takes a couple of minutes. It's, it's that easy. Um, and then creating new journeys is um, just as simple. You choose from a blueprint. Let's make it really straightforward rather than a co-selling use case with account mapping data, portal adoption stuff. Let's just Think about how we can reactivate people we haven't talked to in a while. Um, I'm going to give that journey a name. Um, I'm going to choose to send these messages from my Gmail account because I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want anybody to feel like this is sent via a tool. And now let's create that journey or that uh, that blueprint. 
All we have to do now is we have to think about the, you know, the trigger configuration. Let's just, in this case, say this should be triggered if I haven't talked to somebody in 90 days. By the way, we use standard Salesforce fields. No need to customize anything. Uh, but if you do have custom fields, like you, know, you track if this is a tech partner, um, you can use those to segments too. You know, in this case, we just set up this journey just for uh, tier two tech partners that I haven't talked to in 90 days. What's important here is this approval step. So um, when somebody meets those criteria, they're not pushed into some automation, but they're actually going to show, show up in an approval overview. So this is where partner managers will spend a couple of minutes a day normally where they see the different people in their ecosystem that are different life cycle stages. And they're going to be able to, um, of course, discard the ones that shouldn't get uh, automated messages. They can approve certain automated messaging flows if it, uh, if it is like a standard interaction, or they can go in, and this is what most people do most of the time, be like, okay, they realize that uh, there is a new contact we, that we or somebody that we need to reactivate. They go in and then they can customize that message. They can add content, right? Like, for example, talk about, I don't know, meeting this person at Dreamforce last year. So just to give it the human touch, the tool helps you identify who you should interact with, gives you the personalized message, but then you can add the human touch and, and make sure that whoever receives this doesn't feel like there's you know, some, some mechanic process that uh, tries to get something from them. Uh, when it comes to the actual messages, there's all kinds of stuff you can do when you build these messaging flows. But let me, let me just show you some of the, you know, the, the, the basics. Um, I can, of course, personalize these messages with any information I have in my PRM, CRM account mapping tools. Um, but what I can also do is I can add lead forms. Um, and that means that I now enable people to submit leads from with an email. And this is what this looks like. I've got this lead form here and I literally like in an email and I can, um, or my partner can actually submit a lead from within that email that will be pushed into Superglue. From Superglue, we push it wherever else you need it, PRM, CRM, etc. So how do we get you up and running? Um, we like to uh, make it as easy as possible. Like I said, normally step one is going through an InfoSec review and going, you know, checking all these formal boxes. Then we have a kickoff call. One hour is normally enough to set up the integrations, set up the first automations or customize them with you. And then we have a dry run that, um, that we have up to three users. Um, where we have up to three users use Superglue. Uh, by the way, this is all for free. We have a free tier and this is enough to do all of this stuff. And yeah, after usually six weeks, we look at results. We, we usually have proven that we help you reduce effort. Um, we drive engagement of your partners and ultimately we drive uh, leads, drive revenue. Um, we, we generate an impact on your, uh, on your business. Really hype, hope you like what you saw and um, looking forward to uh, you know, diving in further, answering any questions.